Now you're probably thinking to yourself, I can't wait to get up at 4.30 or 5 a.m. just to shovel snow so I can do work to get myself to do more work. Said nobody ever. Well, luckily today, we're gonna be reviewing the Smart Yard Robot by Yarbo. They're making claims that we will never blow snow again. And I gotta be honest with you, I'm really excited about it. Let's go. The legality out of the way, Yarbo sent me this machine for free. They're not paying me to do this review. Now this is gonna sound a little weird, but I'm excited to get to the unboxing because the boxes are ridiculously heavy. And I find that typically when things are heavy, it just feels like a better quality. Oh, oh. Now normally I get to this point, I'm just trashing everything, but she's pretty. Look at this. You know the expression, built like a tank? Well, I'm pretty sure they were talking about the yard. Oh, my goodness gracious, she's a big girl. Oh, she's just a, a hernia waiting to happen here. Uh, this machine's about as solid as it looks, and the base without the modules here is called the body. It's got a low center of gravity, and its heavy body sets it apart from the competitors and makes it possible to use other high quality modules without bogging the machine down. It's, it's really hard to explain over camera how solid of a machine this is. <laughs> 113 pounds. The unit that I received came with the body, the Snowblower S1 module, which is a two-stage snowblower and a wireless charging station. I wanna talk a little bit about the S1 snowblower module and what Yarbo is actually promising us. The Snowblower S1 module is a very high quality unit and weighs just about as much as any other two-stage blower that you'd buy from the store. 68 it's pounds. super high tech and it's loaded with options. Yarbo is marketing that can handle wet, dry, or packed snow, has an intake height of 12 inches and is 21 inches wide, throws snow from six feet to 40 feet. It's IPX6 waterproof. It's capable of handling slopes up to 20 degrees Hi, nice to meet and the you. shoot rotation goes from zero to 180 you. degrees. Nice to meet you too. It clears about 6,000 square feet per charge. It takes about an hour and a half to charge the battery and comes loaded with safety sensors such as a bump sensor, stop sensor, and radar sensors to detect what's in its path. Mr. Royce and I, we woke up to about six, six inches of snow and here in Utah, we end up with about an inch and a half of slush. So as of right now on the concrete, we only have about two and a half to three inches, but it's a perfect condition. Kind of test out the Yarbo. Now, the cool thing about the Yarbo is it's going to run just as a lawnmower would, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, <laughs> but you have to program it. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Now, the fun thing about it is it comes with a remote control. 99% of these robot uh, mowers and AI technologies for yard care, you actually have to use your phone to kind of do everything. But this actually comes with what looks like an Xbox controller. And, and the nice thing is you can get very precise with these kind of remote controls. Now, the only thing we really have left to do is to establish our boundary where we're going to throw the snow, which is marked here in yellow. <laughs> This thing runs clean and it's fast. One cut, let me zoom in here so you guys can kind of get a better idea. This is awesome. I'm actually kind of shocked to be honest with you. The quality in this machine, it weighs 200 pounds and check this out, it's cutting like butter. Everything was good. Here, I ended up having to uh, adjust the height on the bed knife. Um, just because it wasn't cutting as clean. But I mean, overall, this is a little bit better than I had expected. 
Gotta be honest with you, this is like every little kid's dream. I mean, I could be sipping some tea inside the house and just roboting at worst case scenario. I may never have to use a snowblower again. This is crazy. So for the next couple of weeks in snowstorms, I did just that. I sat back and let the machine do the work. Now overall, the machine did well, especially considering I didn't have to do anything. Now, as expected, maintenance jobs are much easier to maintain than bigger snowfalls. I also found an option to go over the driveway twice in a row in the settings, and that's kind of my go-to now, uh, which was also my go-to when I was manually using a snowblower. Now with that said, the Arbo snowblower module uses AI to adjust the height of the scraper. It's also important to understand this is a two-stage snowblower and not a single-stage rubber paddle snowblower, so I didn't expect a clean slate after every single pass. And the second pass is done. <clears throat> it's not 100% clean, but it's definitely permissible. You can see chunks of the concrete. Um, we didn't finish all of it. I ran out of battery here, and uh, Mr. Yarbo here is charging which is fine. So he'll come back out to clean that little section up, but everything else is actually pretty clean. Um, you can see large sections of the concrete, that bed knife is scraping the ground really, really well. And overall, the fact of the matter is, I didn't have to do any of it, so I'm fairly satisfied. This machine is loaded with settings. I found out it indeed will go through all types of snow, but you'll need to adjust your auger speed to high if you want to plow through wet snow. Now, once I made the adjustments, I had zero issues going through wet snow, but without making those adjustments, I was not throwing snow very far and it did plug up in the chute. Now, one of my very favorite features was the ability to run my snowblower remotely when I was out of town on a trip. Now I was in Las Vegas and I was able to run my Yarbo while I was out of town when we got a snowstorm that received four inches overnight. And I was able to see the entire process through the Yarbo app. Now the snowblower module works fantastic, but it's really important to understand that the Yarbo itself is the body. The module is the attachment and Yarbo has been committed to and has been creating various attachments for this machine. Now, the one thing that struck me a little bit as uh, not even odd, but it's very nimble. It's built like a tank, but it also moves very soft on those tracks. I was a little bit worried that maybe if I use the grass attachment, it was gonna tear up the lawn. I'm pretty confident after watching how it turns. It's very light and nimble on its feet. But with that said, if you're looking to buy a commercial quality machine that buy once, cry once, you can't go wrong with the Yarbo. And I posted a link down in the description of the video. If you guys have any other questions, comments, or concerns, hit me up down in the comments down below. No love to help you guys out. Till next time, guys, pest and lawn, Ginger. We're slaying lawns.